Okay, this is going to be a good one. Funny, funny, ha, ha. This is, uh, watch Edward. We're listening to Edward right here. Talking about, uh, gatekeepers. No, so when Savvy appeared on panel over there, he jumped. He said, what did he say, Savvy? Uh, oh, there's another gatekeeper. And he jumped up. Oh, fuck with this gatekeeper bullshit. Nobody's a gatekeeper. <laughs> the only I mean, thing on the fucking the gatekeeper person. over if, is a fucking gilded channel. If we're trying That's... to if we're trying to protect the community and we're gatekeepers, then yeah, of course care. we're trying to protect the community. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, gilded yeah, yeah. Of course, protect your community from uh, sickos, but you label who the sickos supporters and uh, sympathizers are, huh, Edward? As a gatekeeper in, in your new little community you're gatekeeping for. Because he doesn't want people to uh, know that he's gatekeeping. So uh, people don't know his his past, his more recent past. Like, why did he all of a sudden pop up and become popular, right? You know, same thing with the uh, Vegas community and the uh, trucker community, the Bundy community, right? They, they don't want... Well, Edward doesn't want people to know about his past gatekeeping attempts. Let's put it that way. Just lock asked me in two different streams. What about this? What about this? See, well, you don't have to explain anything. No. Yeah, but what so, I don't so, get, Dave, is if, I, if I call the dude up, right, he's going to be respectful, you know, to me, and he'll be, you know, act like he's my friend and all that shit, right? But and then it's like gatekeeper this, gatekeeper that, knowing that. You know, he includes me with the gatekeeper, you know, group, right? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. It's, I, don't I mean, are you my friend or not? Oh, I mean, oh, oh, are you his friend or not? See, so he is after clout and for people to be his friends because that's the only way he can get friends or on the internet. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's gatekeeping once again for, uh, for people that don't realize his, his past the way he's now calling police on pred catchers, right? And he's supposed to be helping catch preds, but he's calling police on preds as he's gatekeeping. Very interesting here. But what so, I don't so, get, Dave, is if, I, if I call the dude up, right, he's going to be respectful, you know, to me, and he'll be, you know, act like he's my friend and all that shit, right? But and then it's like gatekeeper this, gatekeeper that, knowing that, you know, he includes me with the gatekeeper, you know, group, right? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. It's, <laughs> I, don't I mean, are you my friend or not? Oh, I mean, it's, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's that's well, that's maybe what he needed when he had uh, he offered me, let's say, a, a proposition over the phone to have a phone conversation with him, and so I did, and he acted cool with me, but uh, it basically seems like the first, um opportunity he got to throw me up under the bus with the uh, information that, that we obtained by a phone conversation going through a court case record. He twisted it around for his benefit and uh, left out important details of that particular case of a uh, officer, a detective losing his qualified immunity which he won't mention for some reason. And then he uses that for some type of clout to become friends with poor dirt farmer, right? Buddy, buddy. And then uh, he doesn't want people to call him a gatekeeper as, as he's dictating to the people that are in his community, right? That, uh, you know, Mr. Cox is... And says my real name. We'll, we'll put it in here. We'll add this that in. Where uh, he's trying to tell his his people that Mr. Cox is a sympathizer, protector, and supporter of sickos. That's some gatekeeping shit right there to a bunch of sheep that are go. Oh, we don't care. Oh, that's 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 not of importance if you're gatekeeping for your community, right? You need friends for clout and clicks, huh, Edward? Oh man, it just proves some of the other other things we've done on this tub of lard. All right, let's let's watch Edward here do some gatekeeping for clout, clicks, and friends to weaponize his audience and uh, get him to come into 
come into my stream to troll me. Watch, watch this. The right, right at the end of this first song, the beginning of his stream here. Oh, this is good. Watch, he comes right out of the gate. He's pissed. Turn that up a little bit. Watch him gate keys. Oh. Yeah, that's why they murdered him. Because of that video. In another video he did. Exposing uh, pedophile groups. Yeah, Jules, I'll call you today. So, um... Exposing. <clears throat> apparently there's... And it's not even this community, y'all. It's, it's the previous community I used to be in. There's this cocksucker. This no. pedophile defender. Wow. This uh, pedo sympathizer named Aaron Victor Cox, who's over there right now, saying that I used the death of Nick's niece for clout, for views on my channel. Wouldn't be the first time he used something for uh, some clout, clicks, and views. Just an FYI. He came right out of the gate, though. Yeah, who is Nick? Can y'all believe that? Oh, just, oh, got to weaponize your your audience. Gatekeep for him there. Nick's a good friend of mine from um, Ohio. That's bullshit. And I've known him for since 2018, early 2018. What a douche move. <laughs> And he's trying to be relevant by building a channel off of my channel. Oh. Uh, no, because I've always not wanted a channel, big channel, just a channel to where I can stream to where I can listen to it and then download it later while I'm camping or something like that. That's that's what uh, non-gatekeepers do, right? And and have a life outside of your, your weaponized... Uh, sheep that you're gatekeeping for to protect your community because of your past because some of the nefarious things he's done in the other communities he's been in in the past gatekeeping for he defends a wow. sex offender named rex allen Fredrickson. defense yeah defense sex offender well, see, the thing is, is even after our personal conversation and we both came up to the consensus that that's a messed up situation and an officer or detective lost his qualified immunity because a sex offender found a loophole and that we should educate people on how the sickos find loopholes because they might have been entrapped, you need to, uh, you know need to educate your community, right, on how to not entrap. But uh, him and Clovis, that's what he doesn't want all these people to know about, is uh, him and his Mark Connors connection with Clovis, how they may have been entrapping sickos, right, that cost actually, and this, this is where people say, oh, he's a supporter or a defender or, or a sympathizer. No, if you entrap the sicko and they sue and good detectives lose their qualified immunity because some dumbass wants clout in his bullshit community he's gatekeeping for, and he doesn't get it right because they're just salivating. They need those donos. If they get a catch on a sicko, right, they're going to get donos. Well, when that sicko gets entrapped and is able to find a loophole and sues their community, not Edward, but their community... For uh, you know, like 300k, that puts more money into sicko's hands, so they can be even become even more sick. So, so uh, Edward can just keep clout chasing and gatekeeping to who he wants to deem and call a sicko or a sympathizer or a pred, and uh, doing that determination is the likeness of the state. That's what the state does, is they determine who's reasonable, responsible, mentally ill, right? And all these other things. Listen to this little bitch clout chase. And he called 
Rex's victim. Um, just a drug addict. Just. No. She got what she deserved. Wow. And she got what she deserved. Never once did I put it like that. I was concerned that the girl was being used by the police and the, and the sicko because she was a drug addict. I didn't just say, oh, yep, she's just a drug addict and deserved what she got. Never did I say that. But this gatekeeper is going to peddle that to his dumbed down audience so they come troll me during a live stream. This little bitch right here. Gatekeeper. <laughs> Because she was a teen drug addict. Yeah, it's very unfortunate that happens. Maybe the cops giving a teen drugs and using her as a confidential informant. It's been happening in the country, but for some reason, uh, ball liquor here, gatekeeper, doesn't so like to talk about Even that. people that don't like me in this community posted that GoFundMe for Nick. Even people that hate me posted that GoFundMe for Nick. Yeah, it... it wasn't uh it wasn't about the GoFundMe and the reason why they're crying is because I said quit uh crying on the community about the death of the niece right take it to private and uh instead of like trying to get your sympathy clicks and views didn't even know about it GoFundMe at that time instead of uh you know kind of you know, putting it all on the community this this tragic death right well I mean it's it is tragic. But uh, I haven't done that with the tragic deaths I've endured. I was just trying to tell him, you know, go find a shoulder to cry on. But lo and behold, you find out that there's a GoFundMe involved. And that's why there was so much about this death of this niece. Right? I mean, it's been like that in the past. Grifting, right? Uh, I haven't needed to put out or do a GoFundMe for anybody that I've lost, right? Nor have I uh, openly put it on the internet, right? Just like when my deceased parents were brought uh, onto the internet instead of me saying, hey, you know, I've uh, you know lost my parents and uh, I, I need some sympathy. I need a mommy's shoulder to cry on. See, I didn't do that. But the crying about it and then the lashing out on Mr. Cox saying, you better panel up, Cox. You're a dick and you're a pedo supporter, right? That's that's what Nick did. So I go, dude, why don't you uh, go find Kim's shoulder to cry on instead of being a bitch in the chats about it, right? But uh, all of a sudden, this is a great way for this gatekeeper, Edward S., to be able to peddle that there's a GoFundMe out there, right? And... Uh, yeah, that's uh, it's amazing how the Pred community is gatekept by a uh, little child that's using mommy's database, right? That can't even unseal important records, but he's going to gatekeep and play Mr. Doxer in the background. And by the way, his past, you could pay or donate to Edward S. for someone's dox. That's that's the way it does work. So there was some way that Mr. Edward S. wanted to get in for some reason for clicks, clouts, and uh, clicks, clout, and gatekeeping value to a new community, right? Where a bunch of people are watching. This is great. This community has donated thousands of dollars community. to that GoFundMe. Dude. I'm not using it for this. Yes, he is. Uh... This, uh, what, what do we say, uh, millennial, okay, has no effing idea what he's actually participating in, or maybe he does. Well, actually, actually, I think he does in the background to run a lot of sheep off of the cliff eventually when it's pertaining to his handler's time. Since he's a gatekeeper, he more than likely has a handler, right? Which is probably Clovis or somebody like that. Who knows, right? But uh, <laughs> eventually this gatekeeper will be running people off the, off the uh, cliff, just like in the Bundy movement and the Las Vegas shooting movement, right? His communities 
which are very communistic, might as well make up a gulag so this gatekeeper can uh, run people around with a whip as a uh, Stasi general to uh, you know see see who see and say who uh, goes to the uh, to the gas chambers. Let's put it that way. That's eventually what happens. Oh, bitch. My little bitch. He says he's going to make people his bitch. <laughs> Did you get to help my friend's family? Good. How much have you donated, Aaron? Oh, like that matters. That that matters, right? Well, see, no one really needed to donate when I lost good friends to either the CV-19 or something else, a tragic accident, right? I didn't have to put out there and try to get people to donate for clout. Right, so we can control. Oh, you're part of the community. You've donated to the GoFundMe. You're part of the community. You've donated to me for a dox. <laughs> I don't need that type of shit, right? Boomer or uh, millennial, Mr. Millennial Edward S. But Aaron I'm made it about himself to any cause like that, Aaron. Oh, it but you so don't... all of a sudden. His gatekeeping depends on who's donated to what in their online bullshit community for clicks and clout. And you got Lady Scorpio in there that says that I've doxed her in the past. That's why she's so pissed and going to bring up my name and part of it when I didn't. And I didn't make it about myself. What I pointed out is that Nick Cook, this little bitch here, was in Scotty's chat crying, crying, crying. For some reason, I couldn't figure it out, but now I've figured it out that there's a GoFundMe, right? Crying, 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 and lashing out on people because he's pissed, right? Instead of maybe consoling someone on private, in private, and crying on Mommy Kim's shoulder, right? That's all I said. But it made I made it about myself, huh, there, Lady Scorpio? You fucking frauds. Some dog food to your pedophile buddy, right? Oh, yeah, to, to get an asshole like this to talk about it, right? So, poor dirt farmer can say that I tried to also start a radio station with the sicko when that's never the case. I haven't wanted to work with anybody on the internet. I might tell people how to how to do some streaming or give them some, some tips and tricks on streaming, and uh, that's about it, right? Never wanted to really work with anybody. Maybe do a couple of shows, right? But that's about it. Help people maybe expose themselves, huh, Edward? Like when he wanted me to come on his channel because he, you know, and, and do an interview and act cool with me, right? Just to be able to data mine and be a bitch about it later. But he, see, the thing is, there's not much that they can really bring up besides this dog food thing. How huh, wow, yo mama. That's why I did it, to give pussbag shitholes gatekeeping like this, Edward S., right, something to talk about, something little bit to give them so they, uh, right, so they become a bitch like this. Needed them why do you got to make everything about you, oh, Aaron? All about me. Is it because I banned you from this channel because you're a piece of shit, Aaron? Oh, Bam. No, no, that's that's gatekeeping, right? He's wondering why people are calling him a gatekeeper when they when they swing back at his bullshit. <laughs> Who is Ed? Who is Aaron? Well, he's a sicko. He's a pervert. He's a bad guy. Cause we're gatekeepers, right? You little bitches. Nick, drop his link to his live stream right now so everybody can go over there and tell him what a fucking scumbag piece of shit he is right so edward can sit back like an overlord and go and send his new friends that he got for clout clicks and donos for doing some doxing in the background he's gonna send his new friends over to mr cox's channel after he dictates to his sheep what kind of a person Mr. Cox is, right? In in their LARPville fantasy, of course. There you go. Sounds like an asshat, right? There's one of the people that came over and trolled me. We got the AI on him, and what they did is they left pretty quick, actually. They Aaron came in Victor and- Victor Cox, PatCon. You know him, I'm sure. 
Yep. Don't tell them I'm, I'm sure you know Aaron. Nah. Uh-huh. Isn't that great? So he sends him in. You know, and the, there the, it is. Oh, the mouse thanks. defender. Oh, yeah, definitely. By, and you know, what's funny is when we had our conversation about that case and we came to the consensus that that sicko mouse was able to find a loophole and get a detective fired and he lost his qualified immunity, that must be supporting by trying to dig into the case and come up with the details of what happened. But he's not going to talk about that for some reason that a sicko found a loophole to be able to sue, possibly, and get more money to become a bigger sicko. He's just going to associate people with that sicko and saying, oh, yep, he's supporting them. Oh, he's their friends. Without talking about the main supporter for some reason that poor Dirt Farmer is protecting, that Citizen Z is protecting, and they were all up in there as gatekeepers. With the sicko. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Oh, Nick. Seeing that he got all these socks. Aaron Cox. Stuff like that. Isn't that awesome? We're going to have fun with this bitch. (laughs) He thinks he's going to make people his bitch. He's becoming a bitch. A gatekeeping community bitch. Yeah, commie community so he's watching. He's watching the chat right yeah, he's now. Not, he's live right now. Everyone, everyone go say hello. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you go say hello and call Mr. Cox a chomo. Tell him what you think of him. Yeah, it's okay if you weaponize your people to call Mr. Cox a chomo. I didn't know he had a channel. <laughs> Oh, you know of him, but you didn't know he had a channel? Yeah, he's got a channel. It's not LARP Busters now. I uh, never was LARP Busters dingling. I just can't believe I called him a dingling like NSC lady. <laughs> so, you see, he's watching. He's sitting watching back. Nick Cook is helping facilitate because Mr. Cox was so mean to their buddy Tweechy to make him wage quit to go to Twitch. Right? These guys. What's going on? The real MasterCard. See, and he's kicking back and he's watching all of his people come into my chat. Is there somebody from a community I used to be in real MasterCard saying that I'm using Nick's uh, niece's GoFundMe? I never said that, his GoFundMe, because at that time, I didn't know there was a GoFundMe. He's the one that enlightened me that there was a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? But lo and behold, leave it up to Mr. Cox to bust out these grifting LARPers for for cry sympathy donos in Scotty's chat. For some reason, it was a little bit more of a, uh, you know, and hey, I'm not not objecting to anyone using a GoFundMe to help with the family death or something like that. But when it's kind of peddled, and then all of a sudden you're using it as an excuse to call Mr. Cox a sympathizer or a chomo or a sicko to peddle to your crew like you're a gatekeeper. That's where we get to record. Oh, this for is great. for views. You sure so, shit did. And he's live right now on some dumb shit. So I'm Here, let's go back. Real MasterCard saying that I'm using Nick's uh, niece's GoFundMe for clout and for wow. views. This is the first time I heard so, about that. And he's live right now on some dumb shit. So I'm... Sending everybody over there to, you know, tell them hello. Tell them hello. Tell them hello. Yeah. So they come in and call me Chomo and stuff like that. And he's sitting back watching right now as an overlord to watch his people come at me instead of him coming in my chat and going, Hey, dude, I'm live. You want to come on the panel and explain your side? No, he How many gatekeeps. people were in there? I bet almost nobody. Because he, that's what he is. He's a fucking nobody. Mm. He's well, been on YouTube for 10 fucking years. And he gets like... He gets like what? Exactly. So, in his clout, 
Gatekeeping LARP. It's important how long somebody's been on YouTube and how many subscribers they have and how many hits they get on videos when I don't give a shit. I'm on multiple platforms. Just YouTube is kind of the front line right now, in a sense. Okay? So, even though... I've been on probably longer, actually uh, 11, 12 years, something like that now, on on the tubes, right? And watching even longer before then, right? Uh, and I wanted a small channel. That's why I took a swing at Chinada and shill bags like this gatekeeper, Edward S. When you take a swing at shill bags, they take you out of the algorithms, just like they did to Shizzle recently. They took his channel out of the algorithms. It, it doesn't pop up first when you enter in Shizzle, you know what I mean? That's it's being taken out of the algorithms and buried down a little bit lower. You know what I'm saying? That's what I wanted with the channel. Didn't want any recommended videos in your recommended feed, right? Kind of had to figure out who I was and come find me. But apparently, I might be a little more known than I realized by gatekeepers in a community, community, right? sympathizing for the donuts, in my opinion. Let's go ahead for uh, another minute here. I'm using my clout and views to support the GoFundMe. Yeah, I, I never knew that until he said something or somebody said something in my chat. I was like, there's a GoFundMe? I didn't know. Well, now, now some things make sense. <laughs> His name is Aaron Cox. He's a pedophile defender, real MasterCard. He defended a, wow. this pedophile named Rex Allen Fredrickson. He goes on... YouTube is the name Beware Mouse. He's defended him several times. He's called wow. his victim just a drug addicted, um, just a drug addict. And oh, he changed it a little bit. Baited Beware Mouse into into sleeping with her. He's just a real scumbag. I, I don't think I even said that. I said that she was uh, being used by the cops. I think. Wow. See, when we had our private conversation, once again, the consensus was. This sicko found a loophole and a detective got fired. But he's not going to sell it that way. That's not going to help his uh, sympathy donos to the GoFundMe. Isn't that amazing? This lying trash piece of shit. Even after we had a private conversation and went over the case and came to the same consensus that when sickos get entrapped and try to sue... And get more money because they just won a lawsuit for getting entrapped. Now they're a sicko with more money that just cost the community, your real community, three like 300 k or so. That's, that's okay, huh, Edward? Wow, that's supporting when you, when you bring up those type of statistics and details of a case. Isn't that amazing? This little piece of shit. And then there, there's the pay, there's the GoFundMe link again. Wow, these guys. This is great, man. But he's sitting back. So he's trying to use my channel for some clout. Uh, no. Wow. No, thank you. Oh, he'll go say something right now. What the real MasterCard did is came in and into my chat, called me a chomo. Wow. That's okay, huh, Mr. Gatekeeping Edward S. for going through the details of a case that he won't even talk about. All right, I think that's good enough. Uh, let's see. I think he spurgs out a little bit more here. Thank you, Real MasterCard. Appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He appreciates it. Oh, yeah. The Overlord. Yep. Go in and call him a chomo. Thanks, guy. Thanks, MasterCard, for calling him a chomo. You sick pieces of bastard trash for reading out the sick, gory details of New News Now Houston's victim after he got charged. You sick fuck. That's what Edward S. does to gatekeep. To keep his his guys like Mastercard, so they can project on others. Even writing the wrongs, even writing the wrong shared to GoFundMe. Even Angelita Batista shared to GoFundMe, and those people. Mm. I mean, 
Make it about the GoFundMe. I go got really no other use for them. They don't have any use for me. I don't care for them at all. I think uh -huh. um, Angelita Bautista is garbage. What a clout chasing you know piece what? of Thank shit. Thank you for sharing the GoFundMe. I do appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you for helping Nick's family and understanding <laughs> that Nick has nothing to do with, you know, the things that I do in this community. Uh -huh. He's just a friend. He's just here supporting Right. What what he's doing is also gatekeeping. Nick Cook is also gatekeeping because they don't want people to know about the entrapping of sickos that they were doing with Clovis to weaponize a sicko. But what's interesting is Edward will call on, on Colorado Pred Patrol, something like that, CPP or whatever it is. He'll call the cops on him for entrapping. But I thought it was any means possible to get these sickos off the street. But once one gets entrapped, now he's calling the cops on Colorado Ped, Ped Patrol. Wow. Wow. Anyways, thanks for checking this out. I'm not going to ask what he did and ask anybody to go troll this uh, gatekeeping piece of shit. Right? Let him have his, uh, lab, let him have his uh, reign as an overlord in his uh, sheepville. Right, where he can control people and feel good about it in the background and watch like a job of the hut slobber mouth that needs a drool rag. That would suck. That would really suck to have to be an overlord like Job of the Hut in your community. Right? Your online community for clout clicks and uh gatekeeping status. 